And welcome to another edition of uh, my anime watch list. I uh, changed uh, the title for specifics if uh, for future references. So tonight we will feature Voltron Legendary Defender Season 2, Episode 7 to Episode 8. But before that, we're in the road to 500 subs. I hope uh, you guys just push uh, the the subs the subscribe button for my channel. And uh, here we go with uh, Voltron episode. Uh, Seven of season two, the title of is Space Mall. This is uh, on Netflix. Yeah, Boltron, Legendary Defender is on Netflix. Now, Space Mall is about Shiro attempting to create a deeper bond with the Black Lion while Karan takes the others to a swap meet where they have uh, some strange adventures. Some strange adventures and uh, wacky. Wacky stories. So that's the intro for, for Voltron, DreamWorks Voltron. So the paladins are <laughs> going somewhere. Swap moons. Karan is one <laughs> wacky person. The anime is still good, you no, know, uh, considering this is DreamWorks. So four paladins go to the space mall while Shiro is gonna bond with a black lion. Look at that. Shira wants to strengthen the bond between himself and the Black Lion just to uh, 
edge out uh, Zarkon. The jump ship is uh, really good. The design is awesome. I wonder what the team will say <laughs> when they learn that uh, Quran's knowledge of uh, the swap meet is uh, dated. Koran likes to cosplay like uh, they're dressed they dressed up as uh, space pirates man was that thunder I think it's gonna rain Space pirates. <laughs> Varkon. <laughs> So the black lion is trying to communicate something to Shiro. So every mall has a food court. Five hundred gak. <laughs> it thought it was a free sample situation, free of charge, you know, gratis. All right, typical. Hunk will uh, wash dishes. Oh, the Maroos. <laughs> Typical mall stuff, selling uh, all kinds of stuff, like knives and <laughs> everything. <laughs> Thank you. 
This uh, salesman Man, the blade of Marmora. Now we got more cups. Varkon, the mall cop. <laughs> Riding the hover bike. My timestamp is 10 minutes and 40 seconds. So the black line is uh, telling Shiro the story between Zarka and King Alfor and the rest of the original paladins of Voltron. The space mice are giving Princess Alora a show. Now the original uh, Voltron, uh, Go Lion, has the space mice in that uh, original stories. And uh, it's fun that they translated uh, the space mice in the modern Voltron. Pidge is deciding which is uh, the female toilet and uh, the male toilet. Man, Koran is still uh, in stealth mode, which is uh, here hilariously funny because it's a mall. It's not a pirate cove or something. Black market. Yeah, right. Uh, weird. Okay. 
So Hong will cook. Fast food chef honk. <laughs> She's enjoying her food. So Shiro is uh, still communicating with the black lion. So there are still powers of the black lion that Shiro hasn't unlocked yet. And Zarkon got Shiro through the link they have. Man, that's thunder over the horizon down here. Timestamp, 16 minutes and 12 seconds. This is a battle of the mind between Zarkon and Shiro. Honk the chef is preparing a uh, space food. <laughs> that kid is a genius. Rapid sounds. <laughs> so, uh, this is uh, the mixture of. Uh, American and Japanese animation. <laughs> Little noise in the background because uh, it it will probably rain tonight. And um, Shiro won the Battle of the Minds for now. Then the black lion never left, which is weird, so weird. Yeah. 
Oh man, that's thunder. The cattle that cow. Man, it's raining now. So, Quran uh, from the swap shop. It's a deal. <laughs> it's a swap meet. And the paladins cause chaos in the mall. <laughs> Time stamp twenty one minutes fifty eight seconds. The cow's name is Capel Necker. <laughs> All right, they're going to the Blade of Marmora headquarters. <laughs> no power source. And that's it for episode seven. And now we're uh, episode eight. The Blade of Marmora. So this is going to be serious because uh, episode 7 was uh, really funny and hilarious. Hulk just thinks of food. Oh, so it's uh, starting to rain, which is good. Whoa, the base of the Blade of Marmora. Two black holes and the giant blue star. <laughs> yeah. The concept for this animation is so good. 
And uh, one bright idea, well, from me and others of a similar mindset, wants a live version of Voltron with Zack Snyder as director. That would be something. This is going to be a cool night because uh, it's raining. Episode 9, timestamp. 3 minutes, 9 seconds. Lance is uh, being a dick. So Shiro and Pete are going uh, in between the black holes. This is when uh, Keith learns of Shiro's plan to make him a Voltron's leader in the Black Lion if and when something bad happens to sure. So they're using the red lion. And there's the base, the base of the Blade of Marmora. I hope the noise cancel uh, of uh, StreamYard works. So where are we? We're in... Uh, the goal, uh, a goal ship with Hagar. The cool design of uh, the paladins reminds me of. Uh, Super Sentai, the color schemes, 
the helmets and uh, the rest of the stuff. Caliban is the leader of the Blade of Mormora. It's raining heavily at last, man. Uh, I hope the heat will, uh, I hope it will be a cool night uh, tonight. <laughs> So they're asking if Keat somehow stole a blade of Molmora. Trials of Mormora. Man, Keith got himself over his head. Knowledge of or death, that's the result of the trials. The blade, uh, Keith got the blade from his uh, mother somehow. He's been wondering where it's from all his life, especially when he saw the gold has a, sim a similar blade. And he ain't no quitter. Next trial. Double combat. The first one, of course, is a single combat duel. Now he has uh, two opponents to deal with. So timestamp is 11 minutes and 47 seconds. No retreat, no surrender. Now he has three opponents.
he's not surrendering. So additional enemies per trial. Knowledge or death. Uh, episode 8 is Keith and Shiro travel to a hard to find base in an effort to align with the Blade of Marmora. Keith must fight to unlock the truth about his past. So, Keith is, of course, half Goran and half Union. Keith won. He just collapsed. And uh, Shiro greeted Keith. Timestamp is 15 minutes and 3 seconds. And this is a trap. It's not Shiro. It's a hologram. And we have um, another hologram. It's uh, Keith in his old room with his dad. You see a golden ship on there. There's the red lion. So his mother gave him the knife.
Shir, of course, is uh, <laughs> saying that uh, Keith needs to, to get out of the simulation. The red lines moving. Hagar is interrogating some Goran if he's a spy or not. Commando Taste. And the red lion is blasting the base of the Momora. Call of your beast. They want Key to give up the blade. Yes. And uh, the blade is activating. Man. So that confirms that Keith is half Gora. The only way it's possible if it's is if Gulver blood runs through your veins. Nice. Keith is half. Gora. They're all right. He looks like Pantro from uh, the Thundercats.
right. Very cool episode. No uh, humor. Now we have uh, episode nine of season two. Belly of the web bloom. The belly of the web bloom. The paladin split, split up to get resources for a showdown with Zarkon. Hack. Hunk and Key travel into the belly of a planet devouring creature. Whoa. Reminds me of Star Wars somehow. So they got the Blade of Marmora as their allies now. The Paladins of Voltron plan to attack uh, Zarkon's reign. Episode 9, which is cool. Ulas was right. Us then. Lance is being pesky as usual. Pew, pew, pew. So the paladins are splitting up. So the way Alora is gonna keep once she learned that he's hot going makes you think that there's something racial about the whole thing. Geek Lance wants to kiss, and he kissed the mouse. <laughs> the use of Stargates are amazing here. Taran uh, went out. And uh, only the princess remains in the castle of lions. Timestamp is 5 minutes and 45 seconds. This is, of course, tonight's last episode. So uh, let's make the best, the best out of it. Zarkon is in charge by, well, I termed them the scribes, but uh, I remember the scribes in Rebel Moon. He's still, Zarkon is searching for the Black Lion.
<laughs> a Goron and alien realm. I'm not a, I'm not a million. Okay, <laughs> like punk is really. Uh, The Blade of Marmora reminds me of uh, Assassin's Creed. It's correct. <laughs> On video. Belly of a webloom to harvest. Uh, something. Cold tribe. No. This is another mixture of uh, serious storytelling and uh, wacky characterization. And of course, it's anime, so uh, what the hell, right? The Webloom. It's like space worms. Or something from Star Wars. There is a blind spot for these web looms, and uh, I hope find it there behind the gills. And they're going in. They're going to the third stomach.
its uh, biological skull shrines, which is uh, really needed. Timestamp is 11 minutes and 8 seconds. Man, spies in the Galran Empire. Oh, look, Kit and Hank are in the stomach. Yuck. Stomach acid. Uh oh, those are uh, antibodies. They're dissolving your armor. It's the digestive system of the web zone. This is taking them so much time. Ah, ew. Punk is in the bloodstream. They're going to the third stomach anyway, so uh, Keith is falling somewhere. And there it is, Skull Trite. There's a ship, a Goron ship inside the stomach. Whoa, that's pretty gross.
And here it comes again. So the goal received key. He thought it was uh, as a man, he's Ganga, but uh, I think this is female. And that's the defense mechanism. It's pretty. And suddenly, Hank knows what to do. For the sake of the universe, I will invoke the, the beast to fart. Man, so they're out. I mean, Hulk is out. Hagar must be uh, a bit cautious about this commander.
and there it is. That's what they've been waiting for. So they got the skull tribe. Lots of skull tribe. All right. The web room looks like a floating caterpillar. Go <laughs> All right, that's it for the whole uh, stream today from episode 7 to episode 9 of season 2 of uh, Voltron Legendary Defender. And uh, I enjoyed it. It was uh, funny. It was uh, action-filled. And uh, somehow I rate uh the the three episode to a 7.5 to 8 to 10 which is not bad at all and uh, i hope uh, you enjoyed watching with me <laughs> this uh three episode of uh, vault on legendary defenders on netflix and uh just follow me on my uh, socials, Twitter, X Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and uh, yeah, Mikeyverse forever. I'm uh, out of here. See you again soon.
in the sky. Don't go to it. The bat is dead. Bury it. Consider this mercy. Tell me. Do you plead? You will. 